the next big thing. He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw. And apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his title the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard The Lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. Well, I agree, he's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight. So I'd actually give the advantage to The Lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the long, long awaited debut is happening right now on Monday Night Raw. And what a way to kick things off as Sami Zayn's challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. There's been a lot of talk about how the Lock's going to change the game in WWE, but I'll believe it when I see it. Time to see if he's ready to deliver the goods. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. He planned for this and could still rally. <laughs> And that negates Zane's offense. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He went right into that turnbuckle. Full control of their opponent, slamming their opponent right in front of the, the corner. With more in mind here, look out! Beautiful splash. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Oh, the clothesline! The champ not in a great place. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Listen to the impact. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Dropped on the crown. Grabbed by the lock. You can't prepare your face for that. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is shifted. The lock is indeed lived up to the line by winning the Intercontinental Championship in his WWE debut. What an unbelievable night here on Raw. Not many.
many superstars can say they captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar. Holly was the next big thing, a future world champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sami Zayn from behind. Well, oh, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sami goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sami. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sami again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sami for a ride. And the safe goes crashing down with Sammy inside. This night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. What a debut. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good, we can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat with a K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion, The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. Can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you, too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're... The lock. We good here or? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! And didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah, <laughs> call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? 
I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. We probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Wanna join my book club? I tried to recruit Robert Rude, but he said the only part of a book he likes is the ending. Or, as he called it, the book's finishing move. He said he's got the best ending in WWE, but I thought maybe you could take him on and show him yours? The Intercontinental Champion and Robert Rude apparently have unfinished business and they're settling it here on Raw in a finisher match. Anyone else ever heard Rude say he's got the best finisher in WWE? Constantly, but I think he's in for a rude awakening against the lock. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter, and that was a precisely measured attack. And he's able to counter. Oh, oh. Oh, bionic elbow. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. No need to panic, he's still swinging. And finds a counter. Oh no! Straight oh. across the top rope. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Ooh. Answer that with a stiff knee. He gets back into the ring. This is gonna hurt. Stay Saito. Jeez, that could take you out. And Rude reverses. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning your Anagi. Oh no, trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. He's looking a little off balance. Lock quickly moves. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. And there's the Yarnagi. Landed him. Switching it right into an arm drag. Caught with a jawbreaker. Rude gets fended off. Just a revolving door forearms. Listen to the impact. And was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, stomping away. Good golly, what a knee. And I also see a cut on the face of Rude. Shifts it back onto him. Quick exchange of counters there. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. On the road with the boot. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Out on 
on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Oh, oh my goodness. Right, and he gets set back into the ring. He has Root in his grasp. Knockout victory. This one is over. Here is your winner, Big Money. Happy Corbin has been mouthing off about his football career more than usual lately, saying the WWE grind is the same as nonstop two-a-days, which is why he's so well-equipped. <sighs> Give me a break. Take him on after a workout, showing you can compete after a two-a-day of your own. Welcome to Raw. Gotta say, I've been a fan of your work for a while. Can't say the same for Drew Gulag, though. I heard him mention your name in a rant about superstars who lack fundamentals. Fundamentals according to who, Drew? But if you ever want to put in a little extra super specific training before a show, you know who to ask.
two. That's it. Ring the bell. I just interviewed Ludwig Kaiser, who said WWE matches aren't enough of a test, so he's now proposing a five out of nine falls match. Management hates the idea and would love it if someone could take him out in a two out of three falls match to shut him up. Interested? The Intercontinental Champion is taking on the German sensation Ludwig Kaiser in a two out of three falls battle of endurance tonight. You think that's endurance? I heard this was originally supposed to be a five out of nine falls match. Well, then this is probably a good time to make sure we have overtime written into our contracts. Uh-oh. Gets him with the counter. Oh, down by the DDT. This is gonna hurt. Tuesday Saito. into the wind, spinning in the face of danger. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. Oh, God. Watch out, they're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Re-entering the ring now. And not a hit. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. This is just brute power. Release German. And the Locks maintaining the advantage now. The Locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. And not a hair out of place as Ludwig salutes the crowd. This is gonna hurt. Stay Saito! It misses on the springboard. Oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Submission locked in, wrenching at the leg. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. This is just an overwhelming amount of offense on him. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Time to flip it. And I think, oh, Kaiser is bleeding. My goodness! Big boots! Jeez. Locke has him staring at the lights. is really putting the pressure on. A killer instinct from the rock is shining through. Oh my God, the moonsault. Punches to the ear? What are they gonna hear after this match? Suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. 
but maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. After his spectacular debut, the Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn has apparently opted to rehab his neck at ringside. Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. And what a maneuver we just saw there. And some effective offense with that one. Stinking kick. Ooh, kick lands. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. He's taking some good hits. Right, right through with the spear. Boom. Stiff kick. Both wrists captured. And Bam. Oh, what a kick. Going for the pin. One. Sami Zayn just blindsided the lock with his chain. This was all a setup to weaken the Intercontinental Champion before he faces Sami Zayn. Get the safe. Come on. Now. Did Sami say something about the safe? It'd be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Whatever the plan is, Sammy looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they gonna do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Ooh. Sami and Ridge want no part of him. Well, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pounds safe. I respect you wanting to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. 
Do you want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week. It's been a non-stop thrill ride ever since the Intercontinental Champion stepped foot in WWE, and there's no reason to think it'll stop tonight as The Lock and Gabriel Slade take on Sami Zayn and Ridge Holland. The Lock, the Lock holds with Sami Zayn on his first night in WWE and can't seem to shake Sami loose. Locked horns, huh? You need to unlock some new vocabulary. And The Lock and Gabriel Slade need to get on the same page fast if they're going to have a chance against two of WWE's most talented superstars. Oh my God, that's got to hurt. Oh. This is going to hurt. Sammy taking it back after that offense. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Momentum on the side of the lock. Yeah, lock is proving hard to keep up with. A uh, sit out mat slam. Lock formulating a move. Punishing power slam. Oh my god. That is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. Whip back into the ring. Tag is made and he's coming in hot. Getting tossed. One. Oh, red and there. Picked up the pace. The lock isn't holding anything back. Holland's in imminent danger. Power slam! Oh my god, what a cross body! Reaches his partner for the tag. Just muscling up their opponent into the gut-wrench suplex! This match grinded him down a little. Oh, driver! Spiked him. Tag is made, and here we go. in full effect with these two superstars. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. So, these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless... Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Sammy likes to sneak attack and run? Well, that's not going to happen when I get him inside a cage. Nice! Really felt the passion there. 
What an atmosphere for the Locks Premium Live Event debut. And what a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the Locks' second biggest nemesis? Give me a break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. And I expect him to make a few extra marks on Sammy tonight. Oh, ow, connects on the kick. And we just saw some serious offense. Kick right to the ribs. Uh-oh. Absolutely chucked by a German suplex. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Cross landing, powerbomb. Ooh -hoo. Oh, 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 big boot. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. Yeah, we've seen some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. The of this moment is coursing through his veins. from attacks to that area. Oh my God, the moon salt. He didn't plan for this. All right, that's it. Down with force. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Making the big climb towards victory. Keep coming. The sprint up the cage is on. And now he's made it to the top of the cage. No way. I can't even wrap my head around what kind of crazy person jumps off the cage like that. Oh, that didn't go as locked as I. He's got something in store. DDT! Oh. He must have had that scout. This 
vicious right forearm. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. God, that's devastating. Nice. The champ will stay champ. And the Rock can still hold the title above the Here's competition. Your winner. And still. WWE Intercontinental Champion As someone who knows a thing or two about growing pains in WWE, can I give you some advice? Go for it. Three words. Ignore the haters. So, you've seen Cameron Grimes and Happy Corbin chirping at me on social media. Chirpers gonna chirp, and they sure as heck chirped at me during my retribution days. You just gotta tune out the noise. Trust me. Oh, I don't trust anybody around here yet, but thanks for the- Hey, I get it. I didn't come up through the PC either. I know what it's like to feel like an outsider here, and I definitely know what it's like to find yourself in a costume you didn't pick. Doesn't mean you can't make it work for you. I can help you find your footing, if you're interested. What's in it for you? Never hurts to have friends, even for us outsiders. How about it? At this rate, a little guidance couldn't hurt. I'm in. What's my next move? You're already an IC champ, but you don't find your voice in WWE by winning titles. You do it by sending strong messages, which is why you need to silence the voices calling you out. I hear you loud and clear. And so will Cameron Grimes. Things have gotten personal between The Lock and Cameron Grimes, but it's all business tonight with the Intercontinental Championship on the line. The IC champ has certainly been thrown into the deep end right out of the gate here in WWE. Time to see if he sinks or swims. I think he's been spending too much time worrying about what people are saying on social media. It could end up costing him his title here tonight. Ooh! Oh, perfect kick! Ooh! Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. You down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. The challenger's looking shaken. This is gonna hurt. Stay Saito. Goodness, that was bad. And the pressure on Grimes continues to mount. Yeah, Grimes has to consider reassessing his strategy. Oh my god, boom salt. Ow, bam. Ooh, ouch. And Lock got turned around there. Crucial turn around there because Grimes is falling behind. Grimes getting fed up with his beatdown. Now looks to gain an advantage. Ooh, that hurt. Wait, hold on, guys. Something's going on. Yeah, and I think we all know what happens around here when the lights go out. German suplex. The challenger not looking good right now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Oh my God. Rollins evades that. Cover for the championship. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Grimes putting it together. This might not be the time for Cameron to lose sight of him. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Here is your winner.
WWE Intercontinental Champion, Big Money. You were a little rough around the edges out there, but you got the job done. Nice work. Listen, I know you're showing me the ropes or whatever, but I've already got a mentor. Tavish, right? I used to watch him back in his WCW days. Don't think I ever saw him win too many matches, though. Not sure what he can teach you. I'm gonna let that slide this one time. I'm not trying to replace anyone, so just hear me out. <sighs> okay, I'm listening. Take it or leave it, but I teach Corbin a lesson about speaking out of turn. Maybe turn his smile upside down. I'll see what I can do. The LOX Intercontinental Championship is on the line once again, but tonight he'll have to fend off the always dangerous Happy Corbin. The rookie superstar has reportedly been seen taking advice from respected locker room veteran Mustafa Ali. Let's see if it pays off. Respected, yes, but some of his previous leadership ventures didn't end well. I'd be wary of that happening again. He avoids the damage. Jaw-shattering boot. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Boom. Looks like Mustafa Ali has more than just advice to offer the lock. Didn't expect this, but a little distraction can certainly make sure a match goes your way. Absolutely chucked by a German suplex. The challenger's looking shaken. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. And that was a well-executed attack. A uh, sit-out mat slam. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, costly error there. Big forearm. This is just outrageous power. Yeah, the challenger is not in a great place. Uh oh. A slingshot somersault plancha. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh, strong impact. On. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jarred. Able to interrupt the attack. Uh oh. Corbin gets stymied. Be looking to fly. I think we know what's coming next. Launching. And Corbin can't find a way off the blocks. Yeah, he's got to surmount this storm coming out. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, I'm up to the 
second row perched on the shoulder. A spine buster. The title's going nowhere. Kiss the champion retains. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion Big Money. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. As always, Cole, you're more polite. Let Corbin keep talking. Just focus on you. Little hard to focus on me when I've got glory hogs crashing my matches to piggyback on my momentum. You realize I bailed you out in that match, right? You could have lost your title if I hadn't. I appreciate your help, but fight your own fights. Man, you need to lighten up. What's it gonna take to make you believe I'm actually trying to help you? For starters, you could let me know when you're thinking of running in on my matches. I'll do you one better. Let's fight Grimes and Corbin together. What do you think? I'm not looking for a tag team partner. Me neither. But I've been wanting to shut them up for a while now. You got a problem with us handling some mutually beneficial business? Nope. Just happy you're finally admitting the truth. That this never had anything to do with me. Believe whatever you want. Just bring your A-game. The Lock and Mustafa Ali have clearly developed some sort of partnership, and they'll put their bond to the test tonight against Anthony Corbin and Cameron Grimes. Since when does an Intercontinental Champion need help defending himself against a couple of schoolyard bullies? I hate to agree with Corey, but... measured attack. a healthy dose of resistance right there. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. And Baron now is being chopped down. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Almost inhuman at this point. Got the full Nelson. Any more 
right to the throat. With the cutter. He's channeling the guy's energy. If it isn't the Intercontinental Champion, I remember my first IC title, but barely, because I've had so many. <laughs> Losing your memory in your old age, huh? So sad. <laughs> wow, Locke's got jokes. And I was just about to teach you everything I know about being the Intercontinental Champ. Enlighten me. To be a true intercontinental champion requires a truly intercontinental skill set with mastery of styles from all over the world. And your intercontinental specialty is British, Japanese, Lucha, Cleveland? No, no, no. I am the greatest French style wrestler of all time, of course. A style defined by the element of surprise, or as the French say, Surprise with a Z, which they stole from me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? My wife is French, so I'd know. But enough spelling talk. Let me show you what the Intercontinental Championship is all about. In the ring, for your title, what do you say? <sighs> sure. But I've got more important business first. I've already got a cage match title defense lined up. Well, bon chance, as the French would say. Break a leg, or two. An impressive win over Mad Cat Moss. Here comes the man with a shot to the back. What the heck is he doing out here? And now the Miz is asking for the cage to be lowered down. This is absolute mayhem. The champion just survived a cage match, and now he's dealing with this. The champ's doing his best to battle back, but Miz has played the element of surprise to perfection. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Low blow from the Miz. The most unpredictable man in sports entertainment has struck again. And again, and again, and again. Talk about a long night for the Intercontinental Champion. This is brutal. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with a North of the Border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against... The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with a North of the Border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against WWE's marquee French couple, Miz and Maurice. Hold on, since when are the Miz and Maurice French? I wouldn't second guess Miz, Saxton. Not when it comes to maneuvering his way to another Intercontinental title. Watch and learn. Uh, set out, Matt Slam. Now uh, pull the hair. Turning it into a match slam. He's getting a little batter now. If he's smart, he'll make a tag soon. A break on the apron could help him mitigate this damage. The Miz at the complete mercy of his opponent. The lock isn't holding anything back. Oh. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. And well-timed maneuver there. Being sent out like yet. Look out! Oh, 
God! Oh. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. The Miz hot dogging right now. That's nothing new. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Boom! Oh! Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Oh my God! Oh, crushing the knee here. Oh, stiff punch. Well, Nelson, dragon suplex. He's getting a huge comes out on top in this tag team match. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with a north of the border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against WWE's marquee French couple, Miz and Maurice. Hold on, since when are the Miz and Maurice French? I wouldn't second guess Miz Saxton, not when it comes to maneuvering his way to another Intercontinental title. Watch and learn. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. This is gonna hurt. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. What? Thanks for coming. Getting dropped on your head like that is not something you want to be doing often. This is not going to end well. Crash landing powerbomb. The powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Lock launching attacks left and right. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Look at this. Oh God, that, that, that's Whoa. a bad landing. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. The Miz letting him know who the real star attraction is here. Sling Blade! Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm oh. out of here. The Lock looking to go airborne. Oh. From the top. Oh. Look out for oh. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Maybe nearing its limit. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. The Miz just getting beat down. Not an A-list performance here from Miz. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. out, so now it's the men one-on-one. -on -one. Sight set on the top rope. Uh-oh, time to fly! That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. And the lock's 
Lance maintaining the advantage now. The lock isn't holding anything back. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, and that buys some time. Congratulations on nothing. That win was completely meaningless. What matters is that I still have an icy title shot. Care to make it French rules? Here we go. What does that even mean? It's the highest form of unpredictable surprise-based sports entertainment. A proper cage match with escape-only rules. Are you intercontinental enough to handle it? Call it whatever you want, miss. It's clearly just a pathetic attempt to find an advantage that you will desperately need. Bad news, though? I'm keeping this intercontinental title no matter what fake French surprise you have planned. Bad news? No way! I'm clearly in your head, which is the best news. Say au revoir to your championship. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the dramatic conclusion of the head-spinning saga between the defending Intercontinental Champion and The Miz. That's right, Michael. The lock will defend his Intercontinental title against The Miz in a French Rules cage match where the first competitor to escape the cage will walk away with the IC title. Sit back, butter your baguettes, and enjoy two of the best in the business with the premium in premium live events. Oh, this is right for him. Oh, oh, what a kick! Both wrists captured. And, oh, that was nasty. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh, and a knee to the face. Locke launching attacks left and right. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Oh, an uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Judo throw! Oh, Cutter! Paying it right back with a reversal. Slip away! And now he's looking to advance up the cage wall. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. He's all the way to the top of the cage. Not many options for him. Oh, putting your body on the line. And everybody's down. That was either brilliant, crazy, or a combination of both. He got whipped into that corner. And it was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. You can see the dismay on the face of the Miz. Nah, looking so awesome for Miz here. Though every movement is a dangerous one. And now he has finally been able to reach the top of the cage. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. Here is your winner, and still, WWE hits 
Intercontinental Champion, Big Money. Hey, champ. I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations. But now it's time for a big test. We want The Lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live event's in one of our top markets, L.A. But well, there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want to main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I think people have seen me face Sami and Ridge enough. Time for a fresh matchup. Give me Theory. For your sake, I hope your theory is correct. I'll see myself out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. it go out there the match went fine but in case you didn't notice the arena was only half full so not great what do you chalk that up to 
I thought facing theory would be a fresh match people wanted to see, but maybe they wanted me to take on someone I had history with, like Sammy or Rich. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? Dolph Ziggler seems intent on flexing his veteran experience on the new Intercontinental Champion, and he's certainly not wasting any time. Saxton's usually the gossip girl of this group, but I heard backstage rumblings that Dolph actually made a play at mentoring. Seems to me like Dolph's the one that could use the mentoring. The lock's already an Intercontinental Champion. And then the DDT! Yeah. Right, that's How's that for a counter? A uh, sit out match slam. Are you serious? What is The Miz doing out here? Oh, he probably noticed it'd been an hour since he saw his face on the TV screen. trouble here. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh. Yeah. A set out Matt Slam. Dominating cross body. Takedown. Uh, Hooked up. Uh, all right, that's it. Uh, You've got to love the confidence that flows through DZ. Oh, what a leaping stomp. Into the corner. This can't be good. Ah, come on. That's a bit dirty. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. Clever. Good night. with a Uranagi. We might be close to the end. My 
might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Right now, Dolph needs to tap into that reserve tank if he wants to truly show the world how good he is. You wanted to chat about Dolph Ziggler and The Miz? Are they friends of yours now? Not at all. More like the opposite. I need a little help getting them off my back and out of my social media feed. You down for a tag match? Tall order with those two, but count me in. Cool. You're welcome. Things are never as they seem with Dolph Ziggler, are they? The Intercontinental Champion is learning that the hard way as he takes on Dolph for the second time in as many weeks. No doubt The Rock and Gabriel Snake will have their hands full against the always unpredictable Dolph and his Hollywood co-star, Miz, in this tag team throwback. Well, hopefully this sequel is better than Marine 2 through 6. Quick cover from Dolph Ziggler. Easily kicks out of that one. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Oh, 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 what a nasty knee lift. Oh my god. Springboard and moonsault. Wow. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, he might want to tag out just to have the fresher teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. Kick to the gut, and Psycho Cutter! Has Dolph in his grips. Power slam, good night! A sit out match slam! The Miz, that this is it. He did it! He did it! Here are your winners. Big money. You said no more sequels, but what about a trilogy? Here we go again. Don't you have a reality series to bore America with? I'm stepping in to handle casting for Dolph, and I just recruited a huge box office draw to be the newest cast member in our superstar ensemble. But I've got to keep him a secret. Classic Hollywood storytelling. Are you up to find out who it is? I told Dolph, and now I'm telling you, I'm not interested in crossing over into Hollywood. How many different ways do I have to say it? Okay, you want to know the truth? Dolph and I are working on a new movie, and the producers are concerned we need a fresh face, up and coming co star. Okay? Are you happy now? We need you. Next time, just come out and say that instead of wasting my time. But it's still a pass. Go bother someone else. Just hear me out. I'm gonna give you three options, okay? Rule of three. It's a Hollywood thing. You can team up with your boy Gabe one more time to face Dolph, me, and our mystery partner in a two versus three handicap match. 
You can take on the new mystery man alone in a singles match, or you can take on Dolph and I in a handicap match. If you agree, I'll make sure The Rock, John Cena, and Batista all tune in. <coughs> For real? Hollywood connections, baby. But if you lose, you have to sign on to do our movie. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Fine. I've seen everything you and Dolph have to offer, so I'll take the mystery man. The dramatic conclusion to the Intercontinental Champions rivalry with Dolph Ziggler all comes to a head here tonight. Classic Dolph Ziggler theater of the mind. He won't even be in the match. The IC champ will have to settle things with Dolph's stunt double. Let me ask you this, Saxton. If you can't enjoy the perks of a Hollywood entourage, why even have one? some lasting damage to the body. Listen to the impact. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear up, including us. Targeting the throat there. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, already absorbing so much damage here, Michael. Might be cause for concern. He finds an opening. Power slam. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Boom salt. Knight in a state of distress. The locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. 
so I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you? You're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. glad we could finally talk, especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? A lot, actually. He's been a success both inside the ring and outside guiding the Hurt Business. Sounds like MVP's gotten to you already, but I know he's a big talker, which is about all he can do these days unlike me. So why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. I've heard enough, and I like where this is headed. I'm ready to join Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there.
Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone's arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed Evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. The new look Intercontinental Champions teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for their Raw Tag Team titles. And they have to go through a month in Carmelo Hayes while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in one ring in a long time. Saxton clearly has the memory of a goldfish, but he's right. This triple threat tornado tag match is as stacked as it gets. And I, for one, can't wait to see Randy Orton's new evolution with a good hype. I've seen Saxton throw down a few long bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Just like that, he said, crashing to the 
floor. Judo throws. Nasty shot, and now the blood is flowing from Melo's face. Oh, stiff punch. Mention of Gucci. Absolutely planted. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Trapping the arm. Vicious stomp to the hand. A lot of good stop to that. There they go. Connecting on the DDT. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? And he's first off the knee. Uh oh, he's searching for something. Ripcord. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champion's experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. What's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. 
His mind, maybe? A terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. Answering back! Got the full Nelson! Slam! Oh! Oh! Wiped out with the crossbody. Now he's been put on the defensive. Looks like the heightened action of this handicap match has caught up with him a little. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Sorry. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Jab right to the throat. With the cover. Oh, man, they do not care who or what. Lift off. Boom. Montez vibrating with the energy in the WWE Universe wants the damn smoke. Drop kick hits the mark. Ouch! Teen off. Floyd got met with some stiff resistance there. Still, this is about as good a position you could hope to be in this late in a handicap match. And a follow-away slam. Locke might be looking to fly. From way up. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Kick lands. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, a jumping DDT. So much torque on the knee and ankle. That should do it right there. Oh, come on. What is he thinking? A double stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your He had to think of a quick counter. He's going to tap out. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That's a counter with style. That was nasty. Look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. A uh, set out mat slam. Bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, 
You already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. I don't like to complain, but I'm getting pretty fed up with the maximum male model crew claiming that they're prettier than me. It's not a competition. As much as I've tried to, I can't seem to shut them up. Can you help? Well, my sources tell me that Mansoor and his maximum male models crew have been running people to run way backstage, and the Rock has had enough of it. You mean men swap, rubbing people the wrong way, or titillating their jealous? Going up top, big right hand will set things up. Here we go! A spy buster! Believe me when I say you cannot overstate the amount of pain that causes something. Into a German. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. How are they gonna hear after this match? They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and... Goodness gracious. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Momentum on the side of the lock. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Jumping neckbreaker, ouch. That will underhook into the suplex. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. He's a bombing door forearms. Listen to the impact. And that was a well-executed attack. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Look at this. Slingshot somersault punch shot. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And he gets set back into the ring. Oh, with authority! Boom, and a big boot! as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. Boom! And Locke gets surprised there. Chuck to the outside. And I got a strong feeling there's more to come. Gonna Whoa. take it high risk. Will it pay off?
That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Okay, he's re-entering the rank. <laughs> the counter. Down to one knee. What the? Man, a knee ballast in Zagari. trying a new podcast segment called Sounds of the Ring. Cool, right? Problem is, the wrestlers keep ending up outside the ring, where I don't have any mics set up. I could buy more mics, or I could find some wrestlers who know how to stay in the ring. Know anyone? Let's hope that Locke and Madcap Moss aren't claustrophobic, because they're about to face off in the tightest of quarters in a match where neither are allowed to leave the ring. You say tight quarters, I say fight quarters, Michael. And I say come up with better material quarters, Saxton. Boom salt. <laughs> oh man, taking it to the trachea. Opponent down with a urinagi. That was a stunner. That was the best one I've ever seen. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. A killer instinct from the. Uh oh, time to fly! And that definitely made solid impact. Oh my god, moonsault! Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Countered with a stiff headbutt. Could be a chance for him to change the complexion of this match. Ow! A set out mat slam. Uh oh. Their opponent is all but helpless right here. Mad knees. Just exerting dominance over their opponent. And now, and a follow-away slam. Look at him seizing the momentum here. He's taking charge here. Uh-oh, time to fly! And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Counter! And now there's an opening. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? You can't take much more of this. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. I think we know what's coming next. Big punch! Jeez, Madcap in big time jeopardy. Cover! Oh, he kicked out. I don't know once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. The Locke isn't holding anything back. I have no 
idea what they're setting up for here. Oh, into an AA. Under the ropes, referee breaks the count. Land. Such a potent display of power and control there. <laughs> Unmitigated demonstration of power. That's gotta be it. Two. And this one is over. Here is your winner. Big money. Gressel, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. This is what you... Don't look now, but there may be an alliance forming between two of the most electrifying groups in WWE. We're getting our first glimpse of the Intercontinental Champion and three of the kinds, Queen Zelina, working side by side. And it's an intimidating sight to behold. Could be the start of a very powerful relationship. Or the end, if Tazawa and Tamina find a way to get the last word. Oh, look at this. Great creativity, and a cross net breaker. Big boot. Oh my God, he's starting to struggle here. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Boom. I set out Matt Slam. And the lock has picked up the pace. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Ow, bam. Listen to the impact. Dropped on the crown. Big elbow drop. He's going for the pin. Well, it didn't take long for the Intercontinental Titles new alliance with three of a kind to hit a Sheamus size speed bump. The Rock and Gabriel Slade will be looking to run over that speed bump, and they'll have to do it against the always fierce Butch and Rich Hall. With Queen Zelina and Shayna in opposite corners, we could be in for some real fireworks tonight, fellas. Oh, big boom. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. If he's smart, he'll make a tag soon. A break on the apron could help him mitigate this damage. Power 
slam. Mr. Above and Dorn throws. Listen to the impact. Into the corner. This can't be good. Both legs hooked. It's going to go from bad to worse. Muscle Buster. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, lock is proving hard to keep up with. Boom, what impact. Teamwork on display. Oh, what a move. He has just completely lost his wind. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. The back suplex right out of the apron. Whip back into the ring. Oh, complete dead left. This is incredible. Gut-wrench suplex. Tagged in. Knee lift. And Locke got turned around there. Tag made. Fresh man in. Uh-oh. your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. How are they going to hear after this match? And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. no. suplex. Oh, the hardest part of the ring. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Well, it didn't take long for the Intercontinental title's new alliance with three of a kind to hit a Sheamus size speed bump. The Lock and Gabriel Slade will be looking to run over that speed bump and learn how to do it against the always fierce Butch and Rich Holland. With Queen well, it didn't take long for the Intercontinental title's new alliance with three of a kind to hit a Sheamus size speed bump. The Lock and Gabriel Slade will be looking to run over that speed bump and they'll have to do it against the always fierce Butch and Rich Holland. With Queen Zelina and Shayna in opposite corners, we could be in for some real fireworks tonight, fellas. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. This match grinded him down a little. Right now, he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here, or I'm gonna answer this call and pay him back. Oh! And this is just outrageous power. And a German. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Crash landing, power bomb. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Wobbly in the corner. All right, that's it. Oh, toss. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No, thank you. He's determined to keep this matchup going. He manages to escape it. Wow, what an arm drag. This match may be nearing its limit. This has just been an absolute 
absolute massacre. Arm drag. Arm drag takedown. He's got him scouted. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And more attacks to his core. Put him his offense. A steady charge here from Slade. For the win. With three of a kind in shambles, the lock goes one-on-one -on -one against WWE's ultimate instigator, Sheamus. You might want to check your math, Cole, because I count one, two, three superstars in Sheamus' corner. And nobody with the lock, who appears to be without his faction yet again. It's hard not to wonder if they might be the next faction to find themselves on shaky ground. He's looking a little off balance. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. I think they just told him they're number one. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Goodness gracious. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Oh, that didn't go as locked design. Good timing with that reversal. Grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. The stomp in every single part of his body. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Oof. Both wrists captured. And really as close as it gets. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Oh, what a boot. Has the lock settled this? An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Big Money. There's the bell, and this tag team match is now official. Two very talented teams here, but it takes more than just that to succeed as a tandem in WWE. You have to be completely in sync to rise to the top of this division. All the way up, and the crash landing powerbomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Every crash neckbreaker. Sit out, Matt 
slam. He's absorbed some damage already. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. And the lock has picked up the pace. The lock isn't holding anything back. And he sends him into the corner. being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Locks in the gut wrench. And well-timed maneuver there. Just ruthless. He's looking shaky at best now. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Big hammer connects. Oh! It could be over here! This is it! And a kick out right away. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Makes the tag.
Be honest. Do you think we could take Batista and Randy Orton? You still booking fantasy matches in your head? <laughs> you don't? I mean, it's hard not to make the comparison between our two groups. And then you start to think about how we'd measure up against the breakout stars from the original version. I hear you, but honestly, I've got no idea how that would go. Those guys were amazing and really worked well together. They were just hitting their stride, too. Yeah, I have a tough time seeing how it would shake out, too. All of our styles are so different, and a lot has changed since then. Can you picture it? It sounds like you want me to try. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This could end it all. Alabama slam! Face first! Crushing. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. Right, oh, oh, oh. And did you hear the impact of that? The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Yeah, even though he's still got a lot of fight in him, he might make a tag now and not risk further harm. Front face lock applied with the underhook. With the underhook gut buster, wow. So much torque on the knee and ankle. is just ahead. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Batista needs to find the beast within him now. And we just saw some serious offense. <laughs> Knew what Gabriel had coming. Lots in the gut wrench. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. performance. He's turning the table. The Viper in a tight spot. Turning down face first. Gabriel could have this one. Tag made. Dropping the elbow. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, on the 
Man lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. And now Batista's being dismantled. Yeah, Rock is proving hard to keep up with. Otis and I are looking to add a new teaching assistant to the Alpha Academy, and you seem like you're struggling where you're at. How about a fresh new role with a hot new group? How about I shoosh you up in the ring instead? That's my thing, tough guy. Yeah, and that's your only thing. Which is why I'm fine where I'm at. My offer for a match still stands, though. I've got other business to attend to. But how about a match with my Alpha Academy associate, Otis? Tell the big man I'm in. You're on. Looking forward to seeing if you're half as tough as your words. The Intercontinental Champion faces a grueling test tonight against one of the most physically imposing superstars in all of WWE, Otis. Surprisingly, according to backstage rumors, the Intercontinental Champion actually wanted to join Otis as the newest member of Alpha Academy. Gable confirmed those reports were revealed. They've decided to go in a different, much better direction. His words. We'll have to find out exactly what that means. Boom! He's getting a little batter now. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. He finds an opening. Power slam. Listen up, Shush. I don't want any more smoke and mirrors from you or Otis. Stay out of my match with Kulak. 
Oh, don't worry. Our new guy doesn't need any help. Wish I could say the same for you. I'll be just fine on my own. Believe me, everybody in WWE knows you'll be on your own. You guys haven't had your back since day one. None of you are on the same page. It's gonna make it all the easier for us to take their tag titles when the time is right. My guys trust me to handle my business. Not that you would know anything about trust. Rumors have been swirling around Gable and Otis controversial recruiting for weeks, and tonight it all comes to a head between the IC champ and Drew Gulak. The Lock isn't just fighting Alpha Academy's newest member, he's fighting for the truth. Oh, quit being so dramatic, Saxton. Don't make me shush you. Ow, bam. Ooh, ouch! He's absorbed some damage already. He put Oh man, this is gonna be nasty. Oh my god! Think of the impact! Also Buster! Oh my god! into the ring. Close to a revolving door of forward. Ouch! Momentum on the side of the lock. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. anymore, Cole. Finally, we've got some extra help out here to put an end to this brutality. The newest member of Alpha Academy, Drew Gulak, can certainly thank his partners for that unearned W. Well, I think Drew Gulak, Otis, and Gable just made their first big statement together. The new look Alpha Academy is ready to take the Intercontinental Champion to school. is looking to take the Alpha Academy to school tonight with a three-on-three -three matchup for the ages. That's right, Michael. The Intercontinental Champion is finally getting some much-needed backup against Gable, Otis, and Gulak. Will Gabriel Slade and Randy Orton actually have the locks back, though? I don't think that's a lock at all. Kyle Driver. Just a flagrant display of aggression to do something like that. It's important to stay calm in a situation like this. Yeah, you're taking some hits, but there's a lot of time left to go. Something bad. Play out with a power slam. Cover! Oh! Come on, ref, get some control. 
control. Shut up, Byron. Both wrists captured. And oh, that was nasty. Bam! Well placed kick. I know you've got your own WWE doc going, but I need help getting some footage for one I'm working on. I'm highlighting superstars who got their start in MMA, like Shinsuke. Yeah, he's not the one who comes to mind first for me either. But I need new footage of him in an MMA style match for the doc. Can you help? The Intercontinental Champion and Shinsuke Nakamura go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a fighter's delight. No top rope moves, no exiting the ring, and the only way to win is to knock out or submit your opponent. Both of these superstars are artists in their own right, Cole, and I'm expecting them to conjure up an MMA-style masterpiece here. He's lost some of his win now. He looks as good as ever so far, though. He's been able to avoid any debilitating holds at this point in the match. Oh, right to the side of the face. Ow, bam, loop, ouch. Oh, that didn't go as locked as I. about it. Spear! Momentum on the side of the lock. The lock's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Suplex brings them down. Ooh, strong kick. My goodness. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh, the lock kick. Ooh. You can't take much more of this. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Shinsuke's strong side will still give him a chance in this match. Yeah, but not a very good chance. one is over. Here is your winner, Big Money. Bro, I got a proposition for you. Want to trade titles? My 24-7 title that I just won off of R-Truth for your Intercontinental title? A trade's not gonna happen, but I'll give you a chance to earn it in a match, as long as I can get a shot at your 24-7 title first. Oh, totally. But where are you gonna attack me? Catering? The loading dock? By my scooter rack? Give me a hint here, bro. I like to do things differently. Let's make it an official title match on Raw. Far out. I like the way you think, new guy. It takes a lot to surprise me these days, but this one's hard to wrap my head around. The IC champion is taking on Riddle in an official 24-7 title match on Raw. The Rock certainly plays by his own rules. I just hope he knows what he's doing. Spoiler alert, he probably doesn't. Great wherewithal on the counter. Escape just in time. Absolutely chucked by a German suplex. The champ now absorbing a little damage. No need to panic, he's still swinging. He knows how to avoid contact. Ouch! Ow! Bam! And some effective offense with that one. Now, trampling the opposition. We 
We've seen how damaging pile drivers can be, and that one looked particularly painful. Oh, God. And Riddle in a bit of danger. I think this riddle's almost solved. Uh, set out, Matt Slam. Oh, a ah, kick. Nasty kick. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. champion you're referring to. Oh, look at him. Double fisting titles. They call him the lock for a reason, folks. Not sure he ever was a lock for the 24-7 title, though. But how many superstars can say they've held two titles in WWE at the same time? Yeah. Impressive. The 24-7 dual champion is taking a close look at Riddle in our truths number one contender match. Looks like the champ's seen enough. Wade, here comes Reggie from behind. Falls Count Anywhere matches are the definition of unpredictable guys. We could be in for anything here tonight. That's true, Michael, but I'm sure these superstars have some thoughts in mind already. Some interesting locations they'd love to drag this fight to where they can really up the ante. <laughs> just saw some serious offense and a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh, oh, what a kick. Spear. Dropping the elbow. Drops an elbow. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Elbow drop. Piercing. Elbow drop on target. And more attacks up there could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. He turns it around. Frankensteiner. Oh, what a mayor honor. Not sure what he has in mind here, climbing that ladder. Well, he did all his work getting up there. I hope he has a plan. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Uh, I'm hyperventilating. I can't take this. Uh-oh. New champion? Kicks out before one. Well-delivered suplex. And of all the places in this arena to settle your differences, these competitors have found the most treacherous terrain possible. Nothing more harmful than being tossed around on concrete and metal. Yeah. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. <laughs> oh, man. My goodness. Hitting so hard that the bolts just bursted off the railing. Oh, my goodness. Are you nuts? Getting himself out of a very dangerous situation up there. Coming back down the ladder. Uh, 
Raw drop kick. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Run right through with the spear. High angle exploder. DDT. The lock is focused on finishing this. Uh-oh, sunset flip, power bomb. One, two, count, three. What a win by the 24-7 champion to hold on to his second title. The dual champ may not have it for long, though. Here come Riddle and our truth hot on his heels. And now Reggie's back on his feet, too. Looks like he's not giving up his 24-7 dreams yet, either. The Intercontinental Champion will have his hands full defending his newest acquisition in a fatal four-way for the 24-7 title. Fatal four-way 24-7? Honestly, I'm worried about all truth trying to keep all these numbers in his head. Well, I'm more worried about the defending champion. It seems to me he's losing focus on all this 24-7 stuff, and I don't think I'm the only one who feels that way. Shifts it back onto him. Ooh, that'll slow you down. Shoulders down, championship on the line. And he stops the count. That takes him down. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, he's taking some hits, but in a fatal four way, you expect to get him. That was an effective attack, guys. There's absolutely no regard for your opponent's safety when you toss them to the outside like that. He's back into the ring. In the wrist and the knee. Oh, with authority. German suplex. Reggie trying to make a fool of his opponent. Judo through the guard. Cutter. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, my God. Coming from the 
face of Reggie. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And that was offense with a fuck for purpose. The challenger is in some big... No! Barrel roll, Pepe! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerous. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Oh, no. Now that he has the kick this day, I'm definitely going to pin for the championship. Great officiating. As the ref noticed, he was on the ropes. And oh, now, my God, what a forearm. Oh. And that was a successful job. Certainly feels like he's grown attached to that 24-7 title, if you ask me. Favorites or not, he's holding both titles in the air once again after another dominant performance. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. We're a three-hour show, and sometimes you just need to book a match. And it's already been a long day. So in that spirit, would you be a team player and step into a fatal four-way tonight? I do not have a good reason to pitch you, but picking up a win never hurts. The Intercontinental Champion has his hands full tonight against three of WWE's finest and one of my favorite matches, Fatal Four-Way. Love to get inside Adam Pearce's head on this one. Why are these four superstars? Doesn't it seem a bit random? Some mystery the best left unsolved, Saxton. Reversal! Can he take advantage? That's right to the nose. Missed timing with that springboard. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. And that definitely made solid impact. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And that was a well-executed attack. He'll head to the ring. Oh! Got a great display of strength with the suplex. Drop kick right on point. some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. He's absorbed some damage already. Whoa, not quite yet. And finds a counter. And that got turned around there. Nice side headlock of line. Oh. Good measure. Driven down face first. Uh-oh. Oh, the back of the neck. What a lariat. What a release on the German suplex. Just launched. I have no idea what they're setting up for here. Attitude adjustment. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. High cross body. Oh, into the cover. 
still no end in sight here. He's heading back to the ring. Yeah, Alexander did his homework. The lock put a stop to that. champ off his game. Yeah, but at this point, Cole, the fatal four-way is still anyone's to win. Absolutely choked by a German suplex. He got whipped into that corner. Look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Well, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposed. Taken down. Nicely done. He breaks the ref's count before two. This is gonna hurt. Getting back to the ring. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. <laughs> There's a snap there delivered and, and an impactful display of offense. What are you doing here? I'm here as a representative of the New Day, the longest tenured faction in WWE. Kind of like welcoming a new neighbor who just moved in. It's become our custom to welcome all new factions to WWE. And there's even a gift basket coming for you and your Evolution friends. Full disclosure, Retribution broke up before we could give them theirs, so we repurposed some items. Be sure to check the expiration date on those summer sausages. Thanks, I guess. I'll let the other guys know you stopped by. If you ever need any tips on how to stick together as long as the New Day has, just let me know. Faction longevity and continuity not only equal success in the ring, but also outside. 
Have you thought about branding opportunities? We've mainly been focused on in-ring success. You know, winning championships. Think bigger. Evolution branded suits, collared shirts, uh, pleated pants, um, shiny shoes. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> maybe your faction doesn't lend itself as well to merchandising, but maybe it's something as simple as being on the cover of the WWE 2K video game. New Day has that honor this year, but if you play your cards right, that could be evolution for the next game. Why is New Day on the cover of the game? Evolution has the Raw Tag Team Championships, and I'm Intercontinental Champion. You have... nothing. New Day is a proven commodity! We've held Tag Team Gold over ten times, and we'll get those back soon enough. Maybe I'll even take your Intercontinental Championship, too. Would be a nice moment to feature in the game's New Day Showcase mode. Thanks for all the advice, but we're handling everything just fine on our own. Okay, well, I tried. Don't come crying to me in six months when your faction breaks up. T-Bar and Mace did that, and it was super awkward. I've been thinking about our last conversation, and it left a bad taste in my mouth. Kind of like everything in that gift basket you sent us. See? That's what I'm talking about! Rude! If you just came here to rehash an old conversation, I don't have time for that. Fine. Just thought you would want some feedback on how your personal interactions could be improved. Guess not. I've been thinking about our last conversation, and it left a bad taste in my mouth. Kind of like everything in that gift basket you sent us. See? That's what I'm talking about! Rude! If you thought that was rude, you have no idea what we're capable of. Again with the threats! I don't know why I try with you. Perfect. That's gonna look great on the game cover. Nice. New day rocks. New day rocks. New day rocks. You want to threaten us, huh? These are our titles. This isn't a game. You want to explain what the hell that was all about? New Day threatened us, so I didn't really have a choice. I had to show them what evolution is all about. No, that's not how this works. How clear do I have to make this? I call the shots in evolution. You might be the lock, but you're not the leader. And Slade, you're not off the hook either. You went along with his stupid plan. No, you're right. I know I'm right. Have a mind of your own for once. Stop being a follower. It's what's held you back your entire career. <sighs> Understood. All right, enough about that. We need to focus on these singles matches before the situation gets any worse. It'll be me against Kofi. Gabe, you've got Big E. And Locke, you're up against Xavier Woods. Don't blow this again.
With a path to the Raw Tag Team titles hanging in the balance, the New Day's Xavier Woods will be giving the Intercontinental Champion everything he's got tonight. And it still might not be enough. Woods will need Kofi or Big E to win one of their matches to earn the New Day a Tag Team title match. Is it me, or does the lock seem to be in the thick of the action every week? You have to wonder if it'll eventually take a toll on the rookie superstar. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Oof. And this is just outrageous power. Hit by German. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. And that one did. Woods is now starting to bleed. Xavier Woods falling victim to an onrush now. This is where Woods will be tested. He's absorbing some tough hits now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. He skirts around it. Uh, and that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And Locke got turned around there. And Woods puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. But Woods still has more to do to get this fully in his favor. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Woods gets him back. He weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Ooh. Denied with an elbow. With the counter. Oh my god, the boom salt. Suplex. Oh, with authority! Momentum is running away from Woods here. This is where Woods will be tested. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Xavier Woods with a wheelbarrow face buster. Nice. And that'll be a rope break right there. Going way up high. Oh, man. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Oh, nice. Has the lock settled this? And that will not do it, folks. Here is your winner, Big Money. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. Damn it! I had that match won. They just got lucky against you guys. What I did against Xavier is a preview of how the tag title match will go. We'll beat them when it matters. Congratulations. You did your part in trying to get us out of a situation that you stupidly got us into to begin with. All over what? Some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships and evolution. Get your priorities straight. That is what I care about. Okay, well you're gonna get a chance to prove it. I got word that it's gonna be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six-man tag. I look forward to showing you what I'm capable of. We will not lose. If you're a fan of high octane sports entertainment, it doesn't get any better than Evolution versus the New Day for the Raw Tag Team titles. The inner. If you're a fan of high octane sports entertainment, it doesn't get any better than Evolution versus the New Day for the Raw Tag Team titles. The Intercontinental Champ may have held his own against Xavier Woods, but the New Day is coming into this six man tag match with all the momentum. There are rumors of friction within Evolution. We'll see if that affects the outcome here tonight. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. When you see a unit as alive as they are, it's really incredible. Oh, my lord! 
The challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, he might want to tag out just to have the fresher teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to see what happens. Bullseye with the drop kick. Big elbow drop. By the throat into the top rope. Oof. Catches a punch. And he gets the tag. Just brute power. Oh my goodness, absolute dominance. And that was a well executed attack. Can't quite get him there. Ooh, he retaliates. Ooh, man. Big E able to avoid it. And there was over the championship. Kick it out before the count. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Slip leg! Nicely done. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. Oh, man, what a boot. You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, Evolution and the Hurt Business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? What makes you think you can just walk in here and make demands? Get in line. I'll remember that. In the meantime, keep running. At some point, we're going to catch you. You change your mind about my proposal? Face Carmelo Hayes in a non-title match? Then you get Omas. I think you mean Omas gets me. 
and he's going to get a lot more than he can handle. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Rock has more than just his IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Lock's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. Finds its mark. And that failed to hit the mark. Ooh. Oh, knee left. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah. He takes control. Boom! Claymore delivered. Bang! Elbow drop. Elbow drop. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. The Locke's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh, my goodness. He manages to escape it. And some effective offense for that one. <laughs> oh, big boot. He has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. face, Cole. He can't believe it. Kick to the gut. Crank the run into a neck breaker. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. show some remorse at this point, some compassion and end this. Oh my goodness! Placed into the corner. 
Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! Face first off the knee. And guys, now I see blood on the face of the lock. Look out! Lock might be looking to fly. Hayes putting on a little display for the WWE Universe. to the core keep coming. Let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm gonna be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. What's your deal? Do you think I can't win without your help? If you've forgotten, I was champion long before we joined up. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm gonna be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Phenom, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined evolution, and now you need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. What a night for the lock as he stands alone without his evolution teammates to defend his intercontinental title against the biggest threat the hurt business has to throw at him. Omas! I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omas is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. Oh, oof. How did scout it? Counter after counter. Oh, man, what a headbutt. Oh, perfect kick.
What a night for the lock as he stands alone without his evolution teammates to defend his intercontinental title against the biggest threat the hurt business has to throw at him. Omos! I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omos is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. Caught with a punch. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Left by the turnbuckles. And he's able to counter. He fades the attack. Omos playing to the crowd here, and yeah, big guy, we see it. You're very scary. And that was an effective attack, guy. Oh! Lock launching attacks. The champion's looking to take things to the air here. But Omos has recovered and grabs a hold of him. The Lock's trying to free himself. And he does, but the referee got taken out. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? MVP making his presence known. Well, it looks like the Hurt Business are the ones who are going to capitalize. Chokeslam down to the mat. Omas with a pin attempt. The referee's coming too. One, two, three. He did it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business is too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder. Where was Evolution? And now MVP in the Hurt Business are taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where is Gabriel Slade? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Omas. But I agree, there's definitely something off with Evolution. Where's Orton and Slade? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower, that I lack killer instinct, that it's held me back my entire WWE career. Huh. I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed, repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it, you're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again.
So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. Stirring of bad luck, or all part of the plan? It was bad luck. I had Omas beat before the ref got in the way and the Hurt Business cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a, a weight has been lifted from me. Dead weight in the form of Orton and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in Evolution. But now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you. But what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE Universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, he better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine, AKA the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that, and you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on. Name one thing! Okay, let's get it all out there. 
and things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. We've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. We need footage of a top rope move. Come on, let's see what you got. What time does the fly rise crew get here? They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. Let's see a submission hold. Don't cap him out though. Just need a shot of the actual hold. Give me a pin attempt. Can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. All right, taunt your opponent. Now taunt the imaginary crowd. Always a pleasure working with you, Cole. By the way, tell Buzz I said hi. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Let me see your best heavy combo. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one.
Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again. Sorry, Cole. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. So execute a reversal so Jason will leave me alone. Hey Locke. I know you were a big time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Hit a signature move while you're at it. Give me a signature and hurry it up. It's almost lunch. All right, let's wrap this up soon. One, I just got word that a VIP guest has. That's three, ring it. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show, you know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go. This was assault, and it's all on camera. Get off of me. You haven't seen the last of me. Actually, I think we have. You're fired again. Bye. Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, OK? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. Oh, what's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Eh, I'll allow it. 
Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. But if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at peg of five. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you. I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great, too, for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. Gold rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes, you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is, you can wear the wig for a bit, and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave you the first shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me, you're ready to wear a wig. Okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. How are you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? 
Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. So there's no backing out now. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks a situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself.
Look who wore a wig. <laughs> and you're gonna get to wear it some more. It wasn't bad, I guess. Actually, kind of fun. Well, your next opponent is gonna be tougher. But the important part is that you're learning to get outside your comfort zone. And if you manage to win the match, even better. You have any kind of scouting report on this next guy? Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pipe. Nice blacks. Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pipe. Nice blokes. So, how did you know he's tougher then? Made it up. Seemed like a coach thing to say. Anyway, I'm headed back for another free round. Good luck. Another win! Way to go! Thanks, but why are you wearing your old wrestling attire? Let me guess. The fans at the bar wanted pictures with you in it. No. Well, it's not a bad idea. Could make some extra bread. Anyway, it turns out the bloke you were supposed to face got hurt in his last match and can't compete in the finals. So, yours truly volunteered to fill in. Seriously. Well, we couldn't send the fans home without a tournament winner now, could we? Besides, some of them are my mates now. Jimmy's getting married next month, and he asked me to perform the ceremony. Congrats. So what do you say? You versus me, British rules, made the best fully rested, slightly buzzed man win. All right, let's do this.
Hey, I'm actually happy to run into you. WWE's having me cut together a greatest WWE Rise and Falls video package featuring you, which I kind of feel bad about. I've got all your footage from your so-called fall, but if you get Cat to get some shots of you dominating your next match, I can try and make it into a Rise and Fall and Rise package.
WCW, and welcome to what's sure to be a night that will definitely never be lost to history. As Tavis, one of WCW's brightest and most interpersonally off-putting stars, takes on the brand new blue-blooded bruiser, Jean-Paul Levesque. Big clothesline! Moved at the right time. Inverted suplex. He knew that was coming. Big knee to the midsection. Lavec drawing a big reaction from the crowd. Neck breaker! He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Whoa. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Double arm lock. Wow. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? He's absorbed some damage already. <laughs> Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. <laughs> oh, the bad boy's contact. Serious offense. Snap power slam. Will this be enough? His arm showed up the mat before one. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? On a slam. Oh, an eye rake. That's not right, but effective. as close as it gets. Tavish has him clutched. Hit with the cutter. John Paul's on Dream Street. Cover. And that's all, Shiro. Here is your winner, Tavish. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. This is what you get when... Heck of a match, right? <laughs> How'd it turn out? It took you having the performance of your lifetime, but you got the W. Damn right I did. <laughs> this all got me thinking. What if you and I had tagged together against Jean-Paul Levesque and another legendary superstar like British Bulldog? I, can you imagine what we could have done together? I can certainly try to. Welcome back to WCW, everyone, for what can only be described as a dream match between the unlikeliest of tag team mega talents. On one side of the action, we've got John Paul Levesque and the British Bulldog representing the Union Jack, facing off against the always outspoken Tavish and his mystery partner, who I can't seem to place. So why are we calling it WCW match? Um, what's happening? Don't overthink it, Saxton. Embrace the chaos. Mm. <laughs> oh, what an uppercut, John. And that was a precisely measured attack. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. He got whipped into that corner. A little teamwork on display. Oh, what a move! He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you gotta deal with two. Ooh. Oh, what a kid. And what a maneuver we just saw there. 
Ooh, the kick finds it. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, what a kick. Oh, the back avoids contact. This is going to hurt. Dolph Saito. Three. Four. Judo throw. I don't know what you call that, but it hurt. And the momentum's running away from Bulldog now. You got to wonder what this does to the British Bulldog's confidence. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Looking to inflict more damage now. Look out! Sneak on! That's it. He's getting a little battered now. A sound suplex. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the... Set back into the ring. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Guard calls on Dream Street. And the kick out. He's taking some serious hurt, but somehow he's still in this. I think he managed that kick out with pure instinct alone. And you gotta think that all the fans are off the window after that. Sent into the corner. With the head trap, both legs hooked. We know what's coming next. Muscle Buster. We might need medical personnel out here very soon. I agree with you. The referee can only diagnose so much. Got the tag. Got the tag. Hey, I've noticed you've been making quite a name for yourself out there. As someone who came up outside of WWE, I respect the hustle. And if you're trying to get attention, might want to consider spicing up your matches. In fact, I have a friend who wants to have a steel cage match at their next event. If you're interested, I can make a call.
Well, if it isn't the most controversial man in wrestling. You're not following me now, are ya? <laughs> I could say the same to you. Shouldn't your boot be making contact with someone's face right about now? Claymore is taking a little break to recharge. I'm heading home for a few weeks to see my family. I'm actually heading the same way. Hardly with the similarities between us end. I respect you're doing things on your own terms. I've been there. But if you want to be the top dog, you're gonna have to come back to WWE to face the best. Are you ready? The better question... Is WWE ready for me? I knew I liked you, mate. You said you're heading my way. How about a sparring session when we get there? I'm sure we could both learn a thing or two from each other. Count me in. British rules? I want to give you a fighting chance. British rules? No problem. That's just my kind of match.
That's it. Bring it. Are you on vacation from WWE too? Oh, oops. Sorry. Awkward. Totally forgot. Wait. Are you traveling to make it to the LAW show tonight? Joaquin Wilde told me he's on it and his opponent pulled out last minute. It'd be pretty bold to fill in and take a last minute flight. You're going to be so tired. And you already look pretty exhausted. No offense. There's an indie wrestler who works airport security as his day job. He keeps randomly checking my luggage because he thinks he can annoy me into using my connections to get him a high profile match. <sighs> Problem is, he's right. Can you please give him a match so he'll stop pulling me for screening? Feel free to really let loose on this jerk.
Chosen? What are you doing here? The VIP range was closed. Broken pipe or something. I can't believe I have to wait down here with... Uh, everyone. Sorry to hear about your lounge issue, but I meant, what are you doing here at the airport? Oh, I've been on the road promoting Pro Wrestling Japan's upcoming Apex Tournament. It's going to be the biggest one ever. For the first time, it's going to include WWE superstars who previously competed in Japan. And me, of course. Interesting. You know, I'm on a bit of a comeback tour myself, and I'm a former WWE superstar who previously competed in Japan. Are there any spots left in the tournament? You're still wrestling? I thought you walked here at the airport now. I was going to see if you could get that pipe fixed for me. You look like a prama. No, I'm wrestling. And I'd love to get in the tournament if you can pull some strings. Hmm. There is one spot left. I can get you in a qualified match, if you do something for me first. This better not be about the broken pipe. I need you to say Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. Even better than the so-called lock. Do that, and you will have the last spot in the Apex Tournament. <sighs> my desire to be in this tournament slightly outweighs my pride and dignity. I'll do it. Great. Whenever you're ready. Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. He is better than I ever was or ever will be. Say something else and act like you mean it. Every wrestler on the planet should retire immediately because no one will ever compare to Chosen. We good now? Almost. Explain what would happen if you face Chosen in the Apex tournament. You know, just for my own self-confidence. <sighs> okay. If I'm unlucky enough to face Chosen, he will easily defeat me in mere seconds. Again, Chosen is the best. Okay, I'm done. Great. My social account's been on fire lately. But this is going to put it over the top. My fans, the Chosen ones, are going to love hearing you say all that. What do you mean? Oh, that wasn't just for my self-confidence. I recorded what you said on my phone so I could post it. The entire world needs to hear you say Chosen is the greatest. You're actually the worst. Sorry, I already stopped recording. Can't take back what you said. Good luck in the qualifying match. Don't blow it.
The Apex. A bit jet lagged from the flight, but I'm sure once the bell rings, the adrenaline will take over and I'll be fine. Why is this tournament so important to you? This is a high profile event where a successful showing would go a long way to rebuild my image. And of course, I wouldn't mind beating a few current WWE superstars in the process. Got it. So this is the part where you explain the format of the tournament. You really need to start doing your research. The tournament's participants are split into two groups. Each group's wrestlers face off in round-robin singles matches. Wins are worth two points, draws one, and losses, zero. The winners of the two groups face each other at the Japan Dome to determine the tournament champion. And that's a big deal? Yes. I've competed there a handful of times earlier in my career, but only in opening matches. The final of the Apex Tournament will be the main event at the Dome. So yeah, I'd say that's a big deal. I saw you won your first match, too. <laughs> Obviously. But I'm not here to talk about the tournament. I have some feedback on the video you did for me. You mean the video you recorded without my knowledge where you tricked me into saying all those lies about you? Yes, that's the one. After listening back to it, your performance was lackluster and uninspiring. I didn't believe anything you were saying. That's because I didn't believe it either. You're not better than me. And if I get the chance to face you, I'll prove that. 
Sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, the video still put up big numbers. After the edit, of course. I'm going to do my talking in the ring. So you can have your chosen ones and your stupid social media posts, which I get the feeling you care more about than actual wrestling. No, I care about both. I'm going to win the tournament, build my following even bigger, and then conquer the wrestling world. That's my goal too, minus the lame social media content. I've seen your feed. That is Rame. Anyway, only one of us can get to the top. And Rock already had his chance. It's my time now. We'll see. You're off to a good start so far. It's going to be a tough few weeks to get to the end of this tournament and come out on top. Any advice on how to survive? You showed you could tough it out in the British Rules Tournament. So, do more of that? Thanks, I guess. There is one way you could get some extra rest, but it would go against tradition. Typically, you participate in tag matches on tournament off nights, but you could skip them. So, you want to earn the respect of the Japanese fans and show them you have fighting spirit? Or tell PWJ and the fans to shove it and rest up. I'm not taking any shortcuts, and I'm certainly not going to risk disrespecting the Japanese fans. So, I'll honor tradition and do the tag matches. Good call. I wouldn't have wanted to be seen with you if you chose the other option.
If I'm understanding the tournament format correctly, we're nearing the end of the round robin portion, and after a draw against Ricochet, you're now one point behind Finn Balor, headed into your final group match, which happens to be against Balor. That's right. So if I want to win the group to get to the finals and main event, the Japan Dome, I need to beat Finn. A loss or another draw, and I'm headed home empty-handed. Well, hopefully you've at least picked up some cool souvenirs while you're here, so it wouldn't be completely empty-handed. The only souvenir I care about is the Apex Tournament Trophy. But to earn that, first I need to beat Finn, which will be no easy task. He's a top WWE superstar, so I'm sure he'll have some extra motivation to not be upstaged by me. If you beat Finn, it's looking like Chosen is a lock. Sorry. It's looking like Chosen's going to win Group B, so you'd face him in the finals. I'm not surprised. Chosen's arrogant, but he can back it up. But if I look past Finn, there will be no finals. So that's my sole focus right now.
I'm working on my victory post for after I win the tournament final. Do you think 50 fire emojis is too much? Or will it really drive home the point that I'm on fire? You ever hear the expression, don't count your chickens before they hatch? No. Why would I not want to count my chickens? How else would I know how many I have? That is dumb. Whatever. Point is, let's see how the match turns out before you start celebrating. I already know how it's going to turn out. I went undefeated in the group stage while you had to win your last match just to barely clinch your spot in the finals. So, I have way more chickens than you. You're really not getting that. Also, your old friend Sean Michael sent me a DM that he'll be watching our match. Probably wants me to be his next rock. Piece of advice. Don't get involved with Sean. Unless you want to lose all semblance of your identity. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. They couldn't possibly make you more annoying than you already are. I'm still hung up on this chickens thing. Does Sean Mike just count his chickens? I'll ask him after I beat you. Congratulations! So how does it feel to be the hottest thing in pro wrestling since Paul Heyman's undershirt? First, it's great running into you, Justine. Second, I'm going to need a minute while I erase that image from my brain. Heyman's words, not mine. Set him on my podcast. Any chance you'd like to come onto the show? Talk about everything you've been through since you left WWE? Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of your podcast. Tavish and I listen whenever we can. I'm just not sure I'm ready to start telling my story yet. 
Oh, come on. Your run in the Apex tournament was incredible. And that's exactly what my listeners want to hear about. What do you say? I'll go easy on you. <sighs> no time like the present, I guess. <laughs> Let's do it. Great. Let's set up a time ASAP. Hey, heard you on Justine's podcast. Loud and clear. Talking in code again about a platter of stale ribs you threw in the trash. Ah, clearly up to your old tricks. I have to be totally honest. I have no idea who you are. Name's Chase. Had a stint at the PC recently? Or you might even know me as Ribby. Ring any bells? Oh, for sure. You're that mascot guy who almost made his WWE. How'd that all play out? Oh, don't play dumb with me. You know exactly how it played out. I never got a contract offer because you told Shawn Michaels to stay away from the ribs in catering, which was clearly code to avoid me. Wow. Listen, I'd love to stay and clear this nonsense up, but Cole Quinn called into my podcast appearance to talk smack, and now I've got to go give him a receipt. Oh, I know. I was listening. I liked the part when he said you haven't changed one bit since your mocap meltdown. We'll see about that. Good luck, Chase. I hope you get to the bottom of whatever deranged conspiracy theories you were talking about. Oh, I doubt that very much.
Thought you could just blow me off, huh? Not so fast. It's not polite to show up without an invitation, Chase. Guess they don't teach that in deranged mascot school. A good one. But I think it's about time you start taking me seriously. You want serious? How about a match, tonight? And if I win, you leave me the heck alone. You sure you don't want to catch your breath first? I'm not interested in Cole Quinn's leftovers. Nope. You'll actually be doing me a favor. Two wins and one night is exactly the kind of buzz I need right now. Very confident for a WWE washout. Okay, tough guy. If you've got so much gas left in the tank, why don't we make it a no-DQ match? Even better. I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30 or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties? <laughs> I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I can get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. I didn't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least it'll be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, 
I'm not getting paid for any of this. Ugh, didn't know you were going to be here too. Ah, uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Thought I could be look free for a while. Don't call me that. Okay. Look. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better, since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. Okay, I see your point about him, but it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. Fine. But just this one match. That's it. Hey, Hector. I was happy to be teaming with you down here. Until I found out we were also teaming with Chosen. It will be fine. I've known Chosen for a while. He can certainly rub people the wrong way, but he means well. Maybe you're right. I'm willing to give this a shot if you are, I guess. But enough about Chosen. What have you been up to lately? It's been an interesting time for me in WWE. I turned down the chance to join Los Lotharios, and they've been messing with me ever since. Ha. <laughs> Faction trouble. I had my fair share of that in WWE, too. You're better off on your own. Yeah, in this case at least. Anyway, I'm happy to see you doing so well now. I had heard you were having a hard time after WWE. Someone said you got into a fight with Sami Zayn at a video game shoot? <sighs> yeah. That happened. But it's all in my past, and like you said, things are going well now. So let's keep the positive momentum going and get the W tonight. Sound good? Sounds good to me.
sorry for getting you two involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It could tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing that much. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. You are so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You held yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a prama at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but... How about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right. Let's do this. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that, and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. Like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that.
Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dahl or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dahl is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? Huh. Are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. NXT UK and Heritage Cup champion Noam Dar has laid down his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room to step up and answer it. So far, no one has been able to defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. I may no longer be a WWE superstar, but that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. 
So I'm ready to do this if you are. Noam Dar has informed me that he will accept the challenge as long as the match is contested under British rules. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match, while Dar specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I'll do it. Let's go. Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home, beaten and embarrassed. We're going to have a former WWE superstar competing for two NXT UK championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no Dar, just win this match. After a shocking turn of events, the former WWE superstar, once known as The Lock, has just turned NXT UK upside down. That's right, Michael. He showed up out of nowhere and challenged No Dar for both his NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup. Pretty ambitious, if you ask me. He may no longer be the lock, but he certainly looks locked into me. And he better be if he wants to come out of this British Rules match with some new. With the head trap, both legs hooked. We know what's coming next. Muscle Buster. He's struggling a bit here. The hits have come fast and hard tonight. You can tell some real damage has been done already. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Listen to the impact. Just a continuous rush on Noam Dar here. Dar's defensive instincts need to kick in. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Was a precisely measured attack. <laughs> Fellas, we know what comes next. The end. <laughs> For the victory here. and dangerous with his offense thus far. Yeah, he is showing us a lot out here. Reynolds' former employee just walked in here and captured not one, but two NXT UK championships. This is a dark day in WWE. It is, but more importantly, how do we move forward? Is the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure, absolute chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. If you haven't been keeping up with my career since I left WWE, I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere, this NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. Are you kidding me? Is he stealing the NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the Bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security and a referee to the rap sheet. Somehow, a dark day in WWE just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that. So, that's what you meant by playing it by ear, huh? It's what felt right in the moment. You've always told me to trust my gut, right? 
Sure, but sometimes your gut is wrong. I mean, after all, it's just a gut. It's got no brain cells or anything. Are you not on board with this? No, no, I'm on board. It's just, you know, lawsuits and such. A bloody hell. I stick it at WWE. <laughs> That's more like it. So, you're the master planner. Where's the first stop on the I stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup World Shore? We need to think of a catchier name than that. We're going to take things back to where this crazy ride all started.
Yeah, he's odd at singing wrestling, but honestly, how long can this go on? Is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. This could get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go.
We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the hottest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, joyriding around the world, but now it's time to face your challenges head on. And that means returning to WWE. So, I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. I'm not sure I agree with how you handled this, but I get why you did it. You're right. Maybe it is time to go back. I am right. And are you honestly surprised I did this? It's kind of my thing. No. Should have seen it coming a mile away. What can I say? I went with my gut. I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. All right. I guess we're headed to Raw. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the luck? Current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. We'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Shawn Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. So what do you say we start over? I can consider that but an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. If that's all it takes, then do. And maybe a 
skywriting apology message as well. <laughs> Don't push. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. And I'm here to tell you, the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now that I'm back, what's really... Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future, and this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade, but let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. A little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently. Forever. Or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. No chance. 58 
days. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former Locke left WWE. Slade may have taken a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but his boss, Shawn Michaels, just said there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now! Wow, this is actually going to happen? Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we go. I might need to get my glasses checked to make sure this is actually happening, but Slade and his former Evolution teammate are squaring off right now for the WWE title. It's happening, Michael! The artist, formerly known as Rock, is back! He sure is, and he wants the entire WWE Universe to know that the only name he wants from Shawn Michaels is WWE Champion. Sean wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Was this all part of Evolution and Michaels' plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's going to try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck this stacked against him like this. My ring, my show. You don't belong here. I do. <laughs> this is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? It's former WCW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to The Lock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's gonna force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Slade Runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. Wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What'd he say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. 
SummerSlam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight. So, really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks with one Raw a week plus a premium live event. So, you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You're gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. Sounds like you already have Hector's help if you want it, but it still leaves you a man short if you want to even up the sides. You have any suggestions? I know I said you needed to lean on other people, but I'm willing to reconsider. If you're willing to do me a favor. What are we talking here? I had a lot of regrets about how my WCW run ended. One of the biggest was I was supposed to face Goldberg during his legendary undefeated streak. I know I could have been the one to end it, but a match never happened after I quit. So help me get a match against Goldberg, and I'll join your faction. That's kind of weird. I mean, you just got beaten up by Slade and his crew. Shouldn't you want revenge without all this Goldberg stuff? If I'm going to put my body on the line for you, I need this win against Goldberg. Besides, it'll be a massive confidence boost for me to get that monkey off my back. Goldberg is a very large, scary monkey to try to get off your back. It's no guarantee you'll beat him. I've dreamt about it for 25 years, and in my dreams, I beat him every time, and this will be no different. Just make the match happen, okay? I think Goldberg's been training at the PC lately. I'll talk to some people there and see what I can do.
I told you I could do it. The Goldberg monkey is officially off my back. <laughs> it was 25 years late, and in a training match with no cameras rolling or an audience to see it, but still, <laughs> what a feeling! <laughs> I'm happy for you. So, I guess that means you're on board to join my faction now. Oh, hell no. I was never gonna actually join. I'm ancient and just spent everything I could to pull a fast one on Goldberg. <laughs> now, I mainly wanted that match for my ego. And, of course, to show you how you can leverage favors to recruit superstars to join your fight. Like I said before, you can do much better than me. Seriously? I just jumped through so many hoops to make this happen. Well, I hope you're ready to jump through some more. Because that's how this is going to work. And it's not like you've been the most friendly, outgoing type in your time here. So, it might be a bit of an uphill battle. People like me. Debatable. Anyway, I have a feeling the more wrestlers you get to join your faction, it'll attract even higher profile superstars and legends to help your cause. <sighs> Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. And finally, whenever you got two wrestlers you think make up the best faction to take down Slade and his group, come find me and let me know. Got all that? Yeah, I think so. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna go celebrate my big win, but you should probably get to recruiting. Time's running out. So, not quite. Do I need to? I... It's been a winding road for the WWE superstar known as The Lock, and his journey takes another unexpected twist here tonight against Doink the Clown. I'd call that the understatement of the century, Cole. Is this really happening? And the better question, why? I remember going backstage that none other than The Rock may have something to do with how this match came together, which only confuses me more. He's absorbed some damage already. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Roll through, sound the alarm. Here it comes. 
Strategy fast. Boom. We got to call it the old Celtic War Sword. Changes in attitude may be controversial, but it's worth acknowledging one thing that has never changed for Balor, and that is appreciation of a good challenge. Balor loves being pushed to his limit from his time in Japan to his tenure on multiple WWE brands. Balor gives as well as he gets. An important part of his personality is to bring the best out of his opponents so they can bring the best out of him. Both legs hooked. It's going to go from bad to worse. That didn't look good for Balor. And we can see just how bad it was all over his face. Balor having trouble shaking the tides. Finn Balor's under the gun. That should do it right there! And referee cuts off the count in one. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Oh, a European uppercut. 
Cup. Finn Balor in a very bad way right now. This is a very dangerous situation now. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. Oh, man, this is going to be nasty. Oh, my God. Think of the impact. Balor shows the wherewithal. And he continues to mount on the pressure. Yeah, he is staying steady and ferocious. Basement drop kick. Here it comes. Lights out at disconnect. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but the former Locke has teamed up with his WWE nemesis, Sami Zayn, to take on Alpha Academy here on Raw. The newly returned superstar is clearly doing whatever it takes to get back to the incredible heights he experienced in his WWE debut, ironically enough, against Sami. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Saxton, and do you hear that? It's the sound of Shawn Michaels' 58-day clock ticking down by the second. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that part. Oh, man. Oh, God. Can Gable withstand much more of this? Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. Basement drop kick. Seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. 
Dolph Ziggler is looking to make an impact tonight on Raw as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. From behind, Dolph might not make it to his match tonight. What the hell is this all about? And it looks like there's been a miscommunication backstage. I don't know how much miscommunicating there is with their fists flying, Cole. Pretty sure the message is quite clear. Oh, come on, where's security? Can't they save this for the ring? Ouch! Answer that with a knee to the gut. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. What a shot. It's a revolving door of forearms. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Teen off. Oh, my God. Just relentless. Basement drop kick. Exposed concrete. It's just the first hazard you see in this area. There are about a hundred ways this could be ending in disaster. I don't see them getting up after that. And with good reason. That brought. With Shawn Michaels' deadline looming, the former locks road to a WWE Championship will have to go through Shinsuke Nakamura. The road better not be that long, Paul. He's only got to SummerSlam. And with his Apex Tournament trophy on the line, the former champion really can't afford to take any steps back. He needs to add hardware, not lose it. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. He skirts around it. Basement drop kick. And he might have found a focal point with that leg. A moonsault. Great wherewithal on the counter. He'll head to the ring. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. He can end it here. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Nothing he can do. Big time power slam. The king of... Something ominous is looming. Looking to end this one. Bicycle knee strike. Can Nakamura come back from that? He did it. In this unique scenario, the Apex Tournament trophy has been successfully defended against Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke thought he would have won this trophy if WWE and Pro Wrestling Japan had included him in the tournament, but he might not be feeling that way anymore. Well, at the very least, maybe this will give Nakamura some closure and he can move on with his career.
It's a family affair tonight in WWE as Ray and Dominic Mysterio are teaming up with the WWE superstar once known as The Lock to take on some familiar foes. That's right, Michael. That trio has taken on Angel, Umberto, and Santos Escobar. Oh, oh God! Brash decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. He's stuck now. Slam. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Ouch! Close line! Ooh. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Basement drop kick. Things not going well now for Angel. Can Angel recover from this adversity? Great counter. Angelo finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. It's time for Angel to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Drop kick right to the knee. Big four. Especially the winner. There's few matches in WWE more challenging than an eight-man over the top rope battle. There's few matches in WWE more challenging than an eight-man over the top rope battle. That's exactly what we're witnessing here tonight. A battle royal is only as exciting as the superstars who show up for. Luckily, this match is absolutely stacked with next-level talent. Both everyone who does it has been eliminated. The superstar formerly known as The Lock who has more to prove than just about anyone in WWE right now. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh, directly to the neck. Strong right 
AJ Styles and his upstart opponent are about to face off in one of WWE's most punishing tests, a last man standing match. Styles was offended that he wasn't considered to be a part of the former Locks faction. He's ready to be starting. I haven't been asked either. Don't hold your breath, Byron. Yeah, humiliation. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Whoa, not quite yet. Devastating. Able to evade. Beautiful shot block. Hooked up. And DDT. <laughs> Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. The rack attack coming. 2.0. And that 
maneuver really looks to have rocked AJ. Yeah, but all that matters is being able to stay on your feet. And he's taking this to the outside now. He returns to the ring. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. And that was a well-executed attack. And some effective offense with that one. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Comes back into the ring. Cutting off the count here, maybe with a little something extra in mind. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Jackknife powerbomb. Oh my. He has got something destructive in his mind. Watch his power. What you call a game changer, gentlemen. I can't believe I'm, I am at a loss for words right now, truly. And there's seven. This is not good. And there you see Evolution's Randy Orton, fresh off a momentum-building win over Kevin Owens. It's Orton's oh. former Evolution teammate. Where'd he come from? These two can't stand each other. This should be good. And this has turned into a brawl. Forget about any match. This is a street fight. Ah. Boy, you're a pin uppercut. Boom. Up and down the hard way. Oh, gosh. He must have something planned as he climbs that long ladder. And he's officially got nowhere to go but down. He's climbing up that long ladder. Where is he going? Gotten himself into a very precarious situation up there. Oh, man. My goodness. Hitting so hard that the bolts just bursted off the railing. Uh-oh, Batista bomb! And these superstars are just out of control. They don't even know it. This is not an area to go ballistic. You are not gonna just hurt your opponent. You're in constant risk of hurting yourself. He's turning the tables. Uh-oh. Blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. Yeah. 
Big forearm. Come on, this is just unnecessarily dangerous now. Oh, did you hear that? Oh my goodness! Are you nuts? Coming back down the ladder, he didn't like the look of things from up there. Mind games in full effect from the ape. Oh, man. Oh, man. No official needed here, as it looks like. Tag Team Wrestling doesn't get much better than what we're about to see as the former Lock and Cody Rhodes team up to take on Riddle and Butch. And the stakes couldn't be more personal. Cody and his partner are fighting to bring home the Dusty Classic Trophy to the Rhodes family's trophy case. Pretty tasty subplot in play, too. Cody could become a powerful ally for the former Lock if he can help lead the American Nightmare victory. Basement drop kick. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is certainly a rough spot to be in this early in a tag match. I'd be looking for a way out right about now. Able to sidestep. Oh, strong impact. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, man. Big cross body. Drop. And Riddle's busted up after that one. He went right into that turnbuckle. There's the cover! And Riddle in a bit of danger. And Riddle needs to trust his instincts here. Cody Rhodes has a report. Oh, he wants a big rush, Rhodes. Look at 
can't get Riddle. His lights are off. One, two. He kicked out of ten. Riddle still in this, reminding the competition and everyone in attendance that he is far tougher and more resilient than his laid-back demeanor would suggest. Disbelief on the face of the American nightmare. What's he going to have to do to put this away? That was just disrespectful. They could get dropped here. Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gut. Launching himself in the ropes. Cody's cut open. But I think he's in his element, guys. Both arms captured. And vitriolic stop. Does he have him here? And a kick out right away. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. And what a right hook. Oh, right to the throat. Continues to focus on that region of the body. Shirley is pinpointing that spot. Possession is huge for Cody Rhodes. And a sign of good sportsmanship from Riddle. Honestly, even he has to realize this trophy's in better hands now. Yeah, at least no one will be eating cereal out of it anymore. Congrats again to Cody Rhodes. In a surprising last-minute twist, the WWE superstar, formerly known as The Lock, is filling in for Brock Lesnar. Not such a surprising twist if you know Brock's been busy on a hunting trip all week. Come on, Cole, do your homework. Either way, the former Lock will have a tall order filling Brock's boots. With the lariat. Oh! He's able to sidestep there. Slows that down with a well-placed kick. And did you hear the impact of that? He's getting a little batter now. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Oh, oh my God, a clothesline. Ah. Evades their offense. Oh, that can rock you. Punch connects. Out of bounds. Oof, listen to the impact. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Nasty knee. He thinks he has it. He's able to kick out before two. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. And there was some force on that move. Gunther able to steer clear. Pump handle. What are they going to do now? Into a power slam. Yeah. 
This is gonna hurt. Saito. Drop kick. Hits him with the counter. Target is set on Gunther. He's in peril. I know what's next. Man. Is it enough to overcome Gunther? He's on the ropes and the ref wisely stops the count. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Look at this raw power. It'll sit out power bomb. Thunder is impact. Two count. No, he gets the shoulder up. Good lord, scarily close to three. Ooh. He foiled that attempt. Basement drop kick. Showing European uppercut. Nice snapmare. Ooh, a chop. Boom. Ooh. Drops a knee. And this has got to be it. And that's all she wrote. Hey bro, know you're looking for help, but I'm gonna cut to the chase. You're kind of uptight, and I've already been through that with Randy. No way, bro. Me? Uptight? I'm super cool. So relaxed. We could definitely hang. <clears throat> bro? <laughs> okay, bro. Then show me you can let loose by riding a scooter out to your next match while copying my entrance. Do that, then I'll know you can hang. Deal. I just need to borrow your scooter. You don't already have one? I'm having second thoughts. <sighs> Mine's in the, uh, shop. The scooter repair shop, which is definitely a real thing. Oh, okay, bro. You can totally bogart mine. Look forward to seeing your goofy side. A cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Wait, that's not Riddle. What the heck is going on here? Uh, I don't know, but he's acting like Riddle, scooter and all. I have no idea why he or anyone for that matter would want to do this. He's actually pretty good on that scooter. Maybe he's been practicing. Is this really the time for goofing off like this? He's got a deadline approaching where he needs to win the championship or he's gone from WWE forever. I think I'd be more focused on that. Or maybe there's more to this we don't know about. Or maybe the stress of the deadline has caused him to lose it. Who knows? He's certainly got Riddle's mannerisms down, Pat. Again, I hate to be the downer, but that's not going to help him win this match, let alone overcome the difficult odds he faces trying to gain Slade's championship before SummerSlam. I just don't get it. 
Veer Mahan, the so-called lion of WWE, will kick things off here tonight. What's to say about Veer that he isn't going to show you himself? The man's a ball of fire. Frankly, there isn't much he loves more than striking fear into the hearts of his opponent. The only question is, who has the courage to stop him? Truly a rising power player here in the landscape of WWE. Yeah, but he's going against the superstar who refuses to ever back down from a fight. Refuses to back down from any challenger. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed in that regard, but you have to appreciate his willingness to keep on fighting. Ow! Bam! Ooh, ouch! Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, already absorbing so much damage here, Michael. Might be cause for concern. He isn't finding any space to recover. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. And that was a well-executed attack. He switches it back around. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. My goodness, absolute dominance. Attack after another. Able to elude it. Oh, 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 caught by surprise. Boom. Oh, 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 big boot. Setting it up. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Oh, a bicycle knee strike. No way Veer recovers that from that. Good. Wow, it is like looking in the mirror. Not sure what you mean by that. I'm just saying our careers have taken a similar course. We both cut our teeth in the international circuit. We both were touted as future champions when we debuted here. We both were let go. And then we both returned and won the championship. Well, you haven't done that part yet. I hadn't really thought about all that, I guess. And I'm working on the championship part. It's actually kind of creepy. Are you intentionally copying me? No, just a coincidence. But we could actually work well together because of everything we have in common. Talking about your new faction, huh? I don't know. Maybe we're too similar to coexist. We might butt heads. We're not that similar. I mean, I didn't go to NXT when I came back to WWE like you did. That's true. I did have a nice run there when I beat Robert Roode for the NXT Championship. Maybe you could prove how different we are by taking on Rude on NXT, but beating him in under five minutes, which is a lot less time than it took me. That's exactly what I was thinking. That is kind of creepy. See? Anyway, give it a go and we'll talk. NXT may be a change of scenery for Robert Roode, the superstar formerly known as The Lock, but the objective remains the same. Score a crucial W and do it fast. Both competitors will only have five minutes to get the job done. Time is certainly running out on the former Lock's chances at winning a WWE Championship, so the faster the better for this certain superstar. The clock's ticking. He's looking a little off balance. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Talks to a bobbing door of forearms. Listen to the impact. Oh, shoulder to the gut. Knee strike connects. Boom! Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. And Rude reverses. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Ooh, close line delivered. things. Oh, right on the neck. 
No. A slingshot cross body. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Whoa. Hurling your own body like that is insane. A uh, springboard. <laughs> Boom, into the cutter. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Forcefully delivered. Rude's being stopped. Dangerous situation. Thank God. I know what's next. Next Move. And that could keep Rude down. Thank God. I know what's next. That game worked over. He is in complete control. For him. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Driven down. Cover! Two! Uh, barely kicks out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Can Rude withstand much more of this? Rude needs to find a spark. Dropping the elbow. And Rude saw it coming. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Rude gets fended off. The rack attack coming! 2.0! For the win! There's two! And this one is over. The Usos have sat atop the WWE Universe ever since teaming up with Roman Reigns, and they'll look to extend their streak of dominance against the former lock. Nobody in WWE works together more seamlessly than Jimmy and Jey Uso, so I expect their opponent to be backpedaling this entire bout with the bloodline. Backpedaling? I expect the former lock to be on his actual back for a three count pretty quickly. And he sends him into the corner, shoulder right to the midsection. Oh, foot just stomping down. Take a look at this. Every cross neck breaker. Boom. Neckbreaker. He's on his heels a bit now. Still, this is about as good a position you could hope to be in this late in a handicap match. And now Jay is getting beaten down. Somehow Jay's got to turn the momentum around. Oh Big elbow drop. Ooh Boom! Vicious right forward. Oh, what a clubbing blow.
I did it, but somehow Elias and his brother Ezekiel are teaming together here on SmackDown. Are they using holograms? Body doubles? Or maybe it's augmented reality? Hey, all I know is if it's going less for a loop, imagine what it's doing to their opponent. Or maybe they're actually two separate people. Either way, pulling this off and then getting the win could prove Elias deserves to be in John Cena's 2K showcase after all. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, kick connects. Oh. <laughs> he must have had that scouting. Beautiful fitting backbreaker. Vicious right forward. There he goes, right into the corner. Has them in the corner, getting it charged up. Wow, what a close line in the corner. He wants even more out of his opponent. Oh my God, what impact. Intercepted. Ready drop kick. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, but at this point in a handicap match, you have to expect some lasting damage. Considering the situation, things could be far worse. Things went from bad to worse. With the head trap, both legs hook. We know what's coming next. Muscle Buster. Something's about to go either. Uh oh, down the fly. And some effective offense with that one. You'll want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Hooked up. Here we go. Just wanted to say thanks for the apology gift basket you sent New Day. It really meant a lot. No problem. Sorry all that ever happened. All is forgiven. And now that we're on better terms, I was dismayed to see the precarious situation you found yourself in. Is there anything I or the New Day can do to help? Actually, I am looking to start a faction of my own to help get me out of all this. I know you'll always be a part of New Day, but... Maybe you'd be interested in a dual faction membership? <laughs> I'm intrigued, but we've certainly had our share of ups and downs, mostly downs. The gift basket was nice, but not enough to prove we could work together. Let's team up in a match and see how it goes. Then we'll talk. So essentially a trial period? That works for me. Great. I'll get the faction paperwork started. There's paperwork? 
Of course not. Just a little faction humor. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. Of all the superstars I'd have picked to team up with the former Intercontinental Champion, Xavier Woods probably would have been the last. A rumor has it that the pair have mended their fences since that catastrophic WWE 2K cover shoot. But I'll believe it when I see it. Gets him with the counter. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Gut-wrench powerbomb! A powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Eric looking to keep up that Viking energy. Big punch by the clock to the small of their back. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, now is as good a time as any for them to tag their partner, take a breather. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. I'm all getting just as hyped as the WWE Universe is. And a big move. Oh, 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 man. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And what a maneuver we just saw there. And did you hear the impact of that? Great reaction from Ivan. Kick to the lower back. He knows how to avoid contact. Boom. Close line. Off with their head. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Ivar gets out of there. What a shot. Uh-oh. Got snatched up here. Up and over. All the way to the floor. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match. No! Barrel roll, Tope! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. A set out Matt Slam. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, my! Xavier Woods in with the tag. Setting up. Kick to the lower back. Oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to sting your back. Measured kick. Here he goes for the win. Kicks out before one. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. And that definitely made solid impact. This match grinded him down a little. His opponent, wheelbarrow face buster. And Ivar looks clueless as to where he is right now. Hooked up. Oh my God, a small package driver. Woods might have this wrapped up.
I'll save you the big song and dance. I know you're looking for people to fight your battles, and obviously, I'm your top choice. But if you want my help, you're gonna have to do something for me first. Some of that was accurate, but what'd you have in mind? Corey Graves has been running around this past year saying how his show with Carmella is so much better than my show with Maurice, and I'm sick of it. I mean, their show isn't even on TV. Anyway, I would never lower myself to attack an announcer. But maybe someone else would, if you get my drift. With the situation I'm in, nothing is beneath me. Good. Corey trains at the PC on his off days. Head down there and shut him up.
So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Actually, I did. Great. Are you ready to move forward, then? Remember, once you make this decision, you can't go back and change your mind. Besides, there's no time for that with your championship deadline approaching, so you better be absolutely certain. All right. So, Actually, great. I hope you're right, for your sake. Evolution has arrived in style to Monday Night Raw. Whoa! Evolution's getting ambushed. They were not expecting this. Orton into the side of the limo. There's broken glass everywhere. We've take heard rumors that a new faction was forming to take on Evolution. This must be it. And Braun Breaker's tossed headfirst into the limo. This is pure chaos. Not so fun now that I've evened up the sides, is it? I'm coming for this title, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Now what? I think they're gonna flip over the limo. This is insane. <laughs> Impact, Evolution, Shawn Michaels, and all of WWE, for that matter, has been put on notice. I can't believe this group that's been assembled. This next month is going to be very interesting. So far, so good. I knew you'd make a great leader. Also, I'm enjoying a new bus. I could get used to this. Don't get too comfortable. If things don't work out for me, the bus goes along with everything else. Fair enough. Well, more motivation, I guess. You think you're ready for the big match later tonight? I think so, but it's our first time teaming together in an actual match. Even though we looked good earlier, it might take us a bit to gel. I hear you, but you better get it together fast. They're a well-oiled machine, and I have a feeling Shawn Michaels is going to strike back in some way. Be careful. Thanks. We will be. After a stunning attack earlier tonight that sent shockwaves through WWE, the former Locke leads his two new allies against his previous faction in a dramatic three-on-three -three match. Hear that, Cole? 
That's the sound of the SummerSlam deadline getting closer and closer. The new faction leader can't afford to lose any ground against Evolution. And I bet Slade and company would love nothing more than to crush their former teammates' momentum. Not to mention, pay him back for that little visit in the parking garage. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Right now, he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here, or I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. Real European uppercut. And he's able to counter. Big man drop kick. Oh, man. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Breaker's fired up, wants this crowd to know. Knee strike to the back. Denied with an elbow. Basement drop kick. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Cover, cover. Look at this. Curious decision there, Michael. jaw with the knee. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Hard landing. Come on! LH's shoulder ahead of the count. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. And he had Braun's number there. Uh-oh. joined forces with Evolution. Unbelievable! Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Or, in this case, two of the most powerful factions in WWE. I mean, just when you thought you had evened up the sides, we were two steps ahead. So, Good luck winning the championship, saving your career now. And the WWE Champion nails the Slade Runner. Evolution started this night on their heels, but now we end the night looking at a brand new super group led by Shawn Michaels, more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. You have to feel for the former Locke, who looked to have captured momentum in his quest to win gold and remain in WWE, but now he's suffered a major setback. Let's be real, guys. This is more than a setback. It's a career-ending roadblock. And we've seen him overcome long odds before, but I agree, this does not look good. <sighs> a tough night out there. We'll catch up back at the bus. <clears throat> what do you want? Just came to check on you and let you know that it's over. <laughs> you lost.
It's not over yet. I still have time. Maybe. But how do you think you're going to get another WWE Championship match? I hold all the cards. I have a proposal. Next week, I'll take on someone from your new super group. If I win, I get a title match at SummerSlam with a chance to beat the deadline. And if you lose? Then we can forget about the deadline. I'll leave WWE immediately. So, basically, if things go our way, <laughs> and they will, I can get rid of you sooner than I planned? I like the sound of that. You have yourself a deal. So who am I going to face next week? Let's keep that a surprise. But I will give you a heads up on one thing. The match is going to be no disqualification. So good luck stopping us. After an inspirational return to WWE, the former Locke is risking everything to keep his dreams of a WWE Championship match alive against Braun Breaker. Call it a cliche, but the stakes are absolutely through the roof. A no disqualification match with no future in WWE if he can't break the Breaker. On the flip side, if he can't find a way to beat the big man. Uh oh. Oh, okay, what? That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast. And looking dangerously. Squaring off right by our announce table. And we just saw some serious offense. Oh, and that buys some time. And that was an effective attack, guys. Basement drop kick. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Bringing a steel chair into play here. And this match will head back to the right. Chair to the gut, softening him up. Braun's opponent is taking advantage of this no disqualification match. Shawn Michaels is here to also take advantage of the lack of rules. Michaels is calling in the cavalry. This is going to be a repeat of last week. How can anyone stop this super group? But where are they? That's one way to stop them. Have your faction take them out before they can get to you. Smart move by their leader, but can he capitalize and win this match? Randy Orton's here, and he has no idea. Low blow from Orton. The Vipers lining up an RKO. And just a reminder, this is all perfectly legal. Wait, what? Where did he come from? That's international star Chosen. It looks like the former Locke had an ace up his sleeve. But Braun Breaker has recovered, and he's got a kendo stick. But he reverses. Now he's battering Braun Breaker repeatedly with that kendo stick. Wait, is he setting up Braun Breaker for his own move? And he locks it in with the kendo stick. Can Braun Breaker hold on? He can't. He lives to fight another day and will take on Slade for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Somehow he found a way to pull this out, and now he has an opportunity to strike before the championship or bust deadline expires. We'll see about that, but Shawn Michaels and company can't be pleased with how this turned out. They thought they were putting this all to an end, and instead, the fate of this man and the WWE Championship will be decided at SummerSlam. Big win out there, but bloody hell, you didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do a Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. 
What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No, not Shawn. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Shawn's. War games. We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Where I've been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate when you reached out asking for help that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you too. Alright. Let's do this. I didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter. Adding explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and war games, Saxton. Both forces are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. just become merciless here. He's in non-stop attack mode. He must have seen that coming. And a close eye. Oh, he counters right back on Slade. Oh! Slade escapes the attack. What a close line! Ouch! Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. Great counter! Basement drop kick. Taking up the knee. Out of the small holding cage to only make way toward the beaches of Normandy. He takes control. He's already bringing the numbers advantage, but he wants something more. Oh my god, what a crossbody! Under the apron now, looking to stack the odds even higher in their team's favor here. Listen to the impact. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Oh, he counters right back on Slade. Slade Blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Numbers advantage or not, he's leaving nothing to chance as he searches under the apron. These two having an answer for everything. Boom, brought down with the Sling Blade. And entering into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. Big forearm. Getting him into the corner. Close line in the corner. Ooh, man. Oh. Oh. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Yuranagi. Man, oh, man. Looks like he has something. Oh, my God. The table has been set up for Shoulders. Gotta protect that reason or the hooks can go out fast. And with his coming entrance, the teams will officially be evened up. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. Better make your way into the bell and quickly, your team needs you. Unparalleled intensity from the big dog. Reigns is picking up steam. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. A 
seen this before. Get ready. No time for fear. Have to just get in there and engage with the enemy. And you can see the anguish coming through. Usually the adrenaline of competing masks how Watch out. Shoulder that'll divorce it. Oh, the release on the German suplex just launched. And Roman Reigns demanding acknowledgement from now time on the island of relevancy. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. So that Their opponent is all but helpless right here. And knees just exerting dominance over their opponent. And now, a following slam. Bursting out of the cage, eager to capitalize on the situation. Wait a second. He's going up the wall. The extreme war games mentality is taking over. He's reached the top, but he's risking moving the whole match if he falls to the outside. Oh, no! in which that landed is still reverberating through the arena. Drop toe hold. Look at the amount of members on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one-sided. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. That's hammer right to the gut. Lots in the gut wrench. Of steel, maybe the most dangerous place in there right now. Going up the cage now must have some sort of strategy in mind. And to think, as steel meets body, this is just the calm before the storm. We haven't even officially started the match yet. On top, disturbing impact. Omas able to counter. Rapid fire, Simone drop. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Seconds away from these teams being in even strength. Oh, counters right. There go. I know it's next. Oh, Moss won't come back from that. Out of the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage. He's now perched up on top of the War Games cage. Look who won. And that was taken away. And they're not going to go into this one without a little backup in their corner. From the top of the cage, there are no You must certainly have a plan here. I guess Sledgehammer hammer can cause some serious damage. Yeah. Each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Enter in the ring, and these teams are now in equal standing. Again, the torso is punished. The core of the entire anatomy could dramatically slow your movement down. Omos got a pretty good cut from that one.
destruction he's done to him. Keeled over, trying to find his breath. No, 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 no! You're insane! You're insane! A high-risk maneuver leads to utter disaster. Now you got to face the consequence. He's going to get back to an even playing field with the next entry. Like a bat out of hell and about to even things up in more games. And some effective offense with that one. Avoiding contact. Entering the battlefield and circumstances are finally sinking in. Good golly, what a knee. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, uh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking... You should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well... If you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. I'm going with Chosen, and not for the free drinks. I've had all the momentum since he came in, and I want to keep that going at SummerSlam. I'll be out there with you in spirit. And speaking of spirits, I'm going to collect my pool money and hit the pub. I'll save you a seat. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town, and it's sold out. It feels good. 
What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? I hadn't thought about it like that, but maybe you're right. There is a small part of me that knows, despite how hard I've worked to get here, that it could all come to an end. And that's scary. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, the Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over. But now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or. How about the time you got beat down backstage? Which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place. Or, more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately. Losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So, Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that, or we'll make the decision for you. 
Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. Two, and Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Okay. All right, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either, but that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one-on-one. -on -one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? Oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. As something special that can't be taught has separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah. Huh. You think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. The chaotic road to SummerSlam has all led to one of the most anticipated matches in WWE history. Randy Orton versus his former protege in an extreme rules match for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to win a championship. 
and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them tonight, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's all happening right now. Slingshot, somersault, plop shot. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Toss back into the ring. Orton ducks the strike. And he counters with the headlock backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton. Orton's clearly in control now. It looks like he's trying for a top rope hum DDT. His opponent's doing everything he can to counter. And here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist. But Shawn gets taken out. And now the challenger has an opening. Orton charges. Drop to hold into the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like there'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. Oh, KO on Randy Orton! What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Kick. Can Orton withstand this attack? And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. He's back into the ring. Oh! He knew that was coming. Oh, Orton playing mind games with the enemy. Placed in the corner. So to the stomach. Boom, treading all over their opponent. Shown. And paying Cut. off as well. Jackknife powerbomb. Oh, what impact. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear up, including us. He's taking this to the floor now. Huge powerbomb. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades on tape. He puts him on the table. We know this will not end well. First row? Yeah, I'd say chaos is the right word. Oh. Oh. Off the barricade. Ah, oh, lifting them up. Sneak it. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! What the hell are you doing, Byron? Oh my god! Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Basement drop kick. Orton getting worked on right now. Orton needs to return to his instincts. He gets back into the ring. Nicely done. Orton always 
always has an answer, a plan. He needs to find that right now. Thank God, I know what's next. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. The Viper in bad shape here. Looks like Orton's struggling here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. Here it comes. Lights out at this connect. Boom! A bicycle knee strike. The title is in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. He did it. Not only is he the new WWE champion, but he beat the deadline and is officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back, maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect for Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight, it came down to just him and Orton in the ring, one-on-one, -on -one, no one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Buckle up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history and one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand-new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included. Could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. Power slam! Irish whip, but Sami reverses. The newly minted champion hit hard. But Sami Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluva kick. This could be it. He moves. <laughs> With the roll-up! That will do it! He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sami Zayn's shocking cash-in. Sami Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sami. Thanks for coming out. 
And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known he may also be looking for redemption, but for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they force their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do. And I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again? <laughs>